And feels like Christmas here in my home. <laughs> Welcome back to this channel. I have a video. I remember that I posted a small portion of this not so long time ago, but I think about roughly two years. A video in which um, Jonathan was talking about this controversy. At that time, it was a big controversy now. Nobody cares really anymore. A controversy about him wearing those rings with skulls people are talking nonsense so many maybe even now there are some that talk nonsense associating jonathan with uh, some i don't know masonic lodge <laughs> in this video which is the complete version of jonathan explanation of why he's wearing the rings with the skulls you see jonathan as well calling out a fake pastor that uh, made an association between Jonathan and the Masons. So, um, take a look and see what Jonathan is saying. And uh, why not uh, share this video far and wide with those that uh, somehow are disturbed by him wearing his rings with skulls. Now we all know that this is a Catholic tradition that symbolizes memento mori. Let's remember that we all die. So, we all die one day, and we're not here forever. So let's live lives that mean something. Let's live lives that will make a difference. Not selfish lives, but selfless lives. Take a look and see what Jonathan is saying. And we're going to meet again after this for another one minute or so. Take a look. So many of you know Scully. A lot of you that don't know me are freaked out by Scully. No need, no point, no point, no point. Nothing to be afraid of or worried about. Uh, I found a very, uh, a, 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 an exciting and interesting video by a, uh, a pastor who, a pastor who uh, spent, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes um, tearing me down, uh, mostly because of this guy. Uh, and uh, his uh, suspecting that I'm probably Masonic. And then I think he actually came around to what it actually is. I think he actually got it right. I'm not a Mason. Um, uh, this is a symbol of, uh, it's, a, it's, a, um, it's a medieval tradition, Catholic tradition called Memento Mori, which means remember your death. Remember that you will die. Uh, many saints, uh, it was a common practice for saints and holy people and, and uh, philosophers and thinkers to have a skull on their desk. Um, one of my friends at the Orders of St. Paul, uh, Sister Alethea, as a whole uh, description, Pursued by Truth is her handle, at Pursued by Truth. Uh, I think I got that right. About what memento mori is, the history of it, what it means, and why focus on your death? Why focus on your death? Is it morbid? Is it uh, demonic? Is it no? It doesn't. No, it doesn't have to be. It is if you make it that way. If you insist, well, that's that's up to you, man. But that's not a, what it means to me. So this, through the Catholic tradition, is about focusing on your death, so that you may procure a more holy life, so that you may prepare your life in a way that is more Christ-like, knowing that any moment we could go, we could be called home, we could just cease to exist beyond our control. So when you're aware of that and you're not afraid of it and you embrace it, you're not looking for it, you're not trying to get yourself there faster, but you're not in fear of it, it takes the sting out of death away, wouldn't you say? And so, um, just before Kayla Fan Awards, Scully got a brother. Yeah, that's his brother, Maury. Isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Younger brother, sound a bit older. Hey, how are you? How you been? Uh, you know, hey, what do you think? Is it good? Right, hey, hey, good. Right, Scully, Maury, and Mary. That's Mary there, Our Lady Guadalupe. So, dynamic duo, yeah? In a way. Cool. So that's that. Oh, so, this was Jonathan explaining.
plainly, clearly, and as well as I said, calling out that man that uh, was calling himself a pastor. Nowadays, everyone is a pastor, really, with qualification or not having qualifications. Everyone is calling himself a pastor. And what's the best qualification for being a pastor? To have a heart for God, to study the Word of God, and to be careful about what we speak and when we speak and how we speak. Let's not um, speak without having a, a coverage. Uh, that what I mean is, uh, whatever we say, let it be the truth and not our opinions, not that we think so, and no, but the truth in a world of fake news, in a world in which media is manipulating us every day, we need desperately to speak the truth. So speak out the truth, my friends. Allow Jesus to be your father, not the devil. God bless you all, and thank you so much.